in this session let us think of armature reaction of dc machine like you know keep it in mind that this is not detailed course okay but like you know in order to crack gate or in order to solve problems few conclusions are required so let us get those conclusions in a short test way possible okay so for example this is dc machine for example it's generator okay so generator has to be rotated by prime mover so rotation is the input for a generator for example this is generator i'm rotating in this direction okay so this is going to be generator okay for example in generator in this sense, first of all induced voltage direction has to be found so right hand roll okay so in basic concepts we discussed so not to yes not through south like you know flux and the conductor is rotating in this direction okay so see here i'm rotating in this direction this conductor is going in this direction motion of conductor flux is in this direction so induced voltage should be in the direction of cross so induced voltage are crosses induced voltage are dots okay so what are these these are voltages induced voltages and in generator what do we know in generator my current direction and the voltage direction also should be in this uh, in the same direction so my currents are in the same direction so these are going to be currents okay so if these are currents provided brushes are placed here about the brush placement and all i will discuss very soon in detail okay so if currents are uh, what they say in this direction in generator for example whenever you have current automatically flux will come okay so my currents are cross here my currents are dot here okay so whenever current is there like you know automatically flux will be in the with the help of right hand thumb rule so currents are entering here currents are coming out here so my flux created or mmf created because of armature will be in this direction so in this direction means that it will behave like a n pole because you have to sit in the air gap flux is coming out of the air gap if i sit in the air gap flux is coming out of the rotor so this is going to form n pole of the rotor and this is going to be s pole of the rotor okay under the under that direction like you know how flux how flux should travel okay so my flux should travel like you know n flux has to come out to s flux has to go in okay so from n flux has to come out and to s flux has to go in okay such that inside the pole s to n outside the pole n to s something like that okay so this is in this direction this is in this direction okay now if you think of flux pattern flux pattern is going to be n to s of the field so for example this is s pole and this is n pole so my flux field flux is in this direction field flux is in this direction right now if you think of armature flux my armature flux is going to be in this direction means that my armature flux is going in this direction okay so my armature flux is going in this direction okay now net resultant if you think of because what is the definition of armature reaction the effect of armature flux on the net flux distribution is nothing but armature reaction okay so like you know field flux is black armature flux is blue so because of interaction of like you know field flux and armature flux net resultant one flux will be there now that flux if you see for example field flux is going in this direction okay so field flux is going in this direction so it is opposing and field flux is going black is going upward direction blue is also going upward direction so this is going to be addition okay here it is going to be what is opposition now if you think of here here is going to be addition and here these two are opposing so the moment addition is coming here net flux will travel here more here addition is there here more okay so more see here it is more here so it is going to be more here okay so net flux has to travel like this okay so this is going to be n to s flux will travel like this okay means that for example my field flux is about to come here about to come here now armature flux is diverting cross magnetizing the field flux so field flux is coming out armature flux is going in so it will travel like this okay so after that like you know it will bend like this now for example field flux is going like this okay armature flux is aiding that so my travel of the flux will be in this direction 
okay so because of that what had happened for example at no load conditions if you see at no load conditions this is going to be s this is going to be n okay so only my field flux was there only my field flux was there now if i have for example my armature armature so this is going to be my armature rotor okay so the moment i'm rotating the rotor if i don't connect the load if i don't connect the load load current will not be there armature current will not be there armature flux will not be there under that condition where my mnj will be for example here okay my conductors are there okay so if my conductor is traveling this area i'm not going to get any inducer voltage now for example if conductor is traveling this area how much is the flux density here zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero or is other way zero negative maximum zero positive maximum zero that depends upon the n polar s pole okay you are considering maximum so this is called as m n a okay now where you have to keep the brush brushes has to be kept here why at no load conditions we have to keep the brushes at m n a okay in order to get maximum voltage to be tapped across the brush okay so in order to tap maximum voltage across the brush like you know brushes should be placed in m n a at no load condition okay now at loaded conditions what has happened this is like this my resultant flux is has the bend like this so where i'm going to get m n a magnetic neutral axis 90 degrees to the resultant means this is field flux 90 degrees to the resultant now because of armature current armature flux net flux distribution has been changed the pattern has been changed so like this so this is going to be new m n a new m n a okay so this is my old m n a old m n a in a sense without like you know load current now because of load current m n a has been shifted in this direction what is that direction what is that direction direction of generator okay so because of armature reaction fundamentally what will happen my net resultant m n a will be shifted in the direction of generator in the direction of rotation of generator m n a will be shifted okay so that is the point number one okay so m n a shift in the direction of rotation of generator so in the direction of rotation of generator fine okay now let us think of point number two okay actually there are many conclusions many things can be discussed but anyway that much is not required see here for example already you know <coughs> poles for example if this is the pole okay for example this is the n pole this is the s pole okay now i have my rotor like this i have my rotor like this my rotor is about to rotate in this direction for example what is this pole type for example if i sit here if i sit here my rotor is getting rotated in this direction this is the pole tip i'm about to touch means that it's a leading pole tip already we discussed about this okay in synchronous now for example if we if i'm rotating like this like this like this this pole tip this pole tip i'm about to leave i'm about to leave so this is trailing pole tip trailing tip and this is going to be leading pole tip okay leading pole tip so this is going to be leading tip and this is going to be trailing tip okay so what is happening here means in the direction of rotation of generator because generator is rotating in the same direction we have considered so in the direction of rotation of generator what is happening here leading pole tip is weakened because of the position okay trailing pole tip flux density is strengthened okay so the uh, second point is for generator only i'm saying for the motor it will be reversed we will see very soon okay so for generator leading pole tip leading tip flux density is weakened and trailing pole tip trailing tip flux density is strengthened or increased increase that is the second point now because of flux density increment what will happen for example see here here this is going to be trailing pole tip no so here flux density is more here flux density became more here flux density became less here flux density became less now for example you are actually like you know <coughs> in many guys mindset this particular doubt will be there okay focus here for example i'm sitting here i'm sitting here okay so this rotor is getting rotated in this direction 
rotor is getting rotated in this direction then what will happen for example as yes of now some flux density will be there now i'm traveling in this direction flux density is less and after that i'm traveling in this direction flux density is more after that flux density can be zero after that flux density is negative maximum after that zero so for example if you think of hysteresis loss okay so hysteresis loss directly depend upon flux density peak of flux density okay for example for example if you consider this case okay under no load condition okay so under no load condition once the armature is not loaded flux will be like this now only field flux will be there what is the field flux density waveform as per our previous discussion you should be flat top okay so for example it is flat top okay so at no load condition it is flat top okay it is flat top like this so what is the flux density here b max is here with this b max let me draw hysteresis loop okay so area of bh loop is going to be hysteresis loss direct connection is that already you know even if you don't know let us wait for the detail session now because of this like you know because of this armature reaction because of this armature reaction what is happening at leading pole tip flux density is weakened at trailing pole tip flux density is strengthened so at leading pole tip flux density is weakened at trailing pole tip flux density is increased it's something somewhere it will be like this okay so forget about these two okay so think of b max think of b max b max is increased or not yes so for example if you are sitting here less flux density more flux density peak flux density less flux density zero flux density so where my b max will be by b max for flat topped b max is here flat topped b max is here now like you know because of the trailing pole to flux density increment flux density increment so this is going to be flux density increment for the at the trailing pole tip so what about the armature core loss armature core loss is going to be increased because of armature reaction so the third point is going to be armature core loss will be increased will be increased okay now next point is next point is of course this is the point of commutation i'm not going to deal commutation because some commutation they cannot give any problem we have one problem i'm going to discuss that okay anyway like you know one more point is for example actually people might be like you know expecting that i know that okay now for example this is the this machine okay so this is n pole this is s pole okay so for example if my brushes are here if my brushes are here okay then what will happen if my brushes are here if my brushes are here like you know for example if my brushes are at mna in the sense mna is 90 degrees with respect to this means that it should be no load condition so mna is here mna is here okay now for example for example here how much is the induced voltage under the brush conductor induced voltage is zero okay so if induced voltage is zero like you know for example if i am taking current of ia if I have two parallel paths, so this parallel path will give you IA by A2 and this parallel path will give you IA by 2. This will give you IA by 2. This will give you IA by 2. Okay. So as per our previous discussion also, for example, I'm sitting here. IA by 2 in this direction. Okay. Conductor current. So IA by 2, same current, same current, same current because these cars are connected in series, same current to opposite side so ia by 2 to minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 to plus ia by 2 okay so current reversals will happen at the brush okay so current reversals will happen at the brush if it is loaded okay so for example my armature is loaded but mna is shifted to here okay so mna is shifted to here mna is shifted to here okay why because of armature reaction then what will happen for example once mna is shifted here but brush is here only brush is here only so like you know ia by 2 ia by 2 ia by 2 ia by 2 minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 minus ia by 2 is fine but if you observe here like you know from here to here from here to here from here to here induced voltages are one polarity from here to here induced voltage should be of another polarity okay so previously yes pole n pole now yes pole n pole 
that is nothing but MNJ shift. So what will happen from here to here induced voltage, for example, if it is positive, induced voltage from here to here is going to be negative. Now, if you observe, like, you know, from here to here, positive voltage, positive current, positive voltage, positive current, but here, positive voltage, negative current. Now, from here to here, negative voltage, negative current, negative voltage, negative current, but from here to here, negative voltage, but positive current, positive current. So, because of that, commutation issues will come, in detail course, we will see, because of that, sparking issues will come, okay? So, means that is enough, that is enough for time being. 